When I first heard uh, Gavin's talk, I never thought that I would be there implementing it. So I'm Charles, Charles Ladari. I'm based in Estonia. Uh, my team is Jam for us, so it's Jam for Scala. We all met at PBA in Singapore recently. And it all happened very um, casually. When I first heard uh, Gavin's talk, I never thought that I would be there implementing it. What happened is, you know, PBA, we get to work with people, and some people you some people you don't like working with, with, and some people you actually really like working with. And you know, after this, after the graduation, we went to for a coffee or something, have a drink, and two of my friends I had worked with, they say. I heard them speaking, they're going to implement it in Scala. I say, hey, guys, you're going to implement it in Scala. Let's, let's, let's do it together. So the three of us, at some point, they just start talking about it, just casually. And then a fourth member later tell me, hey, you're working on, on Jam. I'm interested as well. I'd work with him. I know he's serious. So again, I told the guys, hey, let's have him. So now we're four. And you know, Jam is not easy, but it's also very good to work with people. It's a very good experience for you to, because you cannot do it alone. And working a team is hard and work, finding a good team is, is hard. And once you get it, you really value this. You can have the, the best project out there. I think the best, the most important thing is the team behind it. Just happen to have a good team as well. I think I like the challenge because once the first time I, I, I heard Gavs talk about it, was kind of confusing uh, and then I guess also wanted to bring something and you know now it's quite easy to make a, a blockchain you can just substrate or a pocket API but back 14 years ago you know if you want to do your own blockchain it was quite hard and I felt like with Jam we're the same it's it's one opportunity to make your own implement yourself a blockchain and also I think Jam can bring can bring a few things to the real world because you know, right now it's still some. If if you look at real world applications, and you know, one big application is still payment. You know, whether you like or not, like payment is one real application. And if, and you see that we're still far from it. Like you know, if you, most payments they go through Visa, Mastercard, and it's quite hard to get some scalability with most blockchain. And there's something with Jam that we can actually get. You know. And what I mean gets is to have a real decentralized network and have real scalability. Because you know there are the blockchains, but if you look very closely at them, they're not so well uh, decentralized, which is fine. But then I think here we can do something that's just never done before. I'm a nerd myself, I like to build, but I also want to build something that can impact people. 20 years ago, we started paying uh, online with the credit card, when it happened, I didn't believe on it. You know, like I thought was, I thought no, no one would pay for stuff online. And I think the same thing with blockchain. You know, like most people, they don't still. If you go, if you talk to civilians, most of them they still don't know what what what, what about blockchain. So I think we are very early to to something big. You know, we can actually change the way that people pay, the way that money flows, the way that people use money. Uh, the way that also like some, sometimes people can be censored with like a centralized way. I think we are looking at something that is going to be big in the future. For me, it's an opportunity, uh, an opportunity to, to take part of it. One of the approach of my own venture is to address uh, markets or people with a need instead of trying to onboard them artificially to Web3. So, you know, trying to talk to talk someone that has a Revolut or has a bank app, and only thing he knows about crypto is meme coins or, or NFT or stuff like this, try to reach out to the people with a with problem and try to show them solution using it instead of, yeah, onboard people to blockchain. If you talk about, to someone else about Jam, you need to be ready to the person to not be as much enthusiastic as you and to be even maybe doubtful and this is this is fine you know like you, you should always be ready for this if not don't do stuff now if you had to explain it i would say that you can just say that ethereum as what envision was like a 
you know, the technology hasn't been built to be scalable. Jam is, is a version maybe of Ethereum that can be scalable in a, in a way that, to be more precise, Ethereum and most blockchains, they have this mindset that is everyone does everything. You're in Jam, it's different, and you, you divide by cores, and each core is, is going to do one part of the job. And this way you can be scalable and you can actually be more uh, real world. You can actually tackle problems from the real world.